I'm just going to show you some cool functionality that we've added to the Esprino tools recently. So normally when you have an Esprino board, you run this. This is the Esprino Web IDE um, and it's a Chrome web app. Once it's running, you can just click up here and you can choose the device you want to connect to and, um, and you can start programming with it. And that's great. The problem is when you have a Bluetooth low energy device, you also need a Bluetooth low energy radio on the computer that you're using to program that device. Um, on brand new computers, that's not really a problem. But if you have a Mac from before 2012, it may not have Bluetooth low energy in it. And you'll have to buy a external Bluetooth dongle, plug it in and get it configured. Um, with Windows, um, Windows versions before Windows 10 didn't support Bluetooth low energy natively. Um, while we've got a program that you can run that will help with that, um, it's still not desperately easy. And even if you have Windows 10, you're not guaranteed to have a Bluetooth low energy radio and you might have to get an external, external dongle. So um, your other solution is to use an external bit of hardware. Um, so what we've done is we've come up with some software for a Raspberry Pi. If you get a Raspberry Pi 0W or a Raspberry Pi 3, um, both of those have Bluetooth low energy radios and Wi-Fi built in, but you could use another Raspberry Pi if you have one available and a Bluetooth low energy USB adapter. Um, once you've got that, you need an SD card and then you follow the instructions on here, which walk you through um, how to install the operating system and then how to install this Esprino Hub software. Now, once you've got that, um, your Raspberry Pi will be sitting there without any display or keyboard. Um, it's just a box. Um, but if you go to the web address for the Raspberry Pi, um, certain things will be available to you. If you've installed Node Red um, on port 1880, you will have um, this uh, this interface where you can drag blocks around and um, and connect them together. So, for instance, I don't know, maybe you want to um, want to send some debug information when MQTT packets received. You can just kind of drag things together, um, and you can see here I have a um, uh, a device that tells me when um, the temperature in the hot water cylinder has changed and that's going to a graph which um, which you can access through 1884 slash UI. Um, so we've got um, we've got all this built in but we've just added um, this functionality. So this is a web server on port 1888 uh, you can use it to see the service of the um, of the Esprino Hub software and what Bluetooth low energy devices it's found. But you can also go to the IDE link. If you go here, this will serve up a version of the Esprino Web IDE that runs entirely on your local network. Um, so it doesn't require any, um, any internet connection at all. Um, and this will connect via WebSockets to the Raspberry Pi and will then be able to get a Bluetooth connection from the Raspberry Pi. So you can now use the Esprino IDE um, without having to have a Bluetooth low energy connection on your computer or without actually needing the Chrome web browser. Um, any modern web browser should work. Um, and it's actually pretty, um, pretty responsive. The, um, the slow speed that's happening here with the updates is actually purely because of Bluetooth low energy and it's not due to any um, any slowness because of the Wi-Fi or the web sockets. So um, this is a really useful way to program your Bluetooth low energy devices um, because you can do it from any computer but you can also do it from any computer that has a network connection um, to your network that the Raspberry Pi is running on. So assuming you have a virtual private network um, you can access this and program your devices from anywhere in the world. Not only that, but um, this web server will serve up any any files that are in the www directory, which is uh, which is part of Esprino Hub. So um, we've got an example here, which is a simple file that um, reads MQTT values via WebSockets. Um, so you can see here it's just receiving the um, the advertising data from um, Puck.js. Um, you can easily write your own website um, 
that will take this data and provide you with a live dashboard based on the information that's um, that's coming from from the pucks or other Bluetooth low energy devices that are sending data to MQTT. Um, and they don't have to be Bluetooth low energy, this could be any device that is sending data to the MQTT server on the Raspberry Pi. And that's it, um, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about getting this started, um, please just go to um, the Esprino forums, which are forum.esprino.com. Um, and we'll do our best to help out. Thank you.